It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit our line at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chlummy here on the Mike Wagner Show. She's based out of New Jersey. And, of course, just like many of us, um, you know, just being in a home studio and with the current uh, pandemic going on right now. And she offers a lot of ways to heal yourself naturally without going to over the counter, without going to doctors, the hospitals and everything else. She's she's author of 20 books. And we'll talk about uh, some of the books and also a subject which was just brought up and very important today, you know, during this time. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from beautiful New Jersey along the shore, ladies and gentlemen, author and health expert. And um, you may want to cancel the doctor appointments, Stacey Chalem. <laughs> Stacey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Mike. I appreciate it. I ha- thank you very much. Well, that's great to have you on, too. So you're an author and health expert. You have over 20 books. You have a new book called The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body. That's on Amazon. You also wrote How to Purify Water, Natural Cures for the com- for Common for um, the common Cures, and also The uh, Complete Guide to Natural Healing, which, by the way, is Natural Cures for the Common Condition, Faith, Courage, Wisdom, Strength, Hope, and more, and also a couple of other subjects Um you know, especially with the current pandemic right now. And um, and before we get into all that, uh, tell us how I got started. You know, it, it happened a long time ago. You know, I started out um, when I, I had uh, developed epilepsy at the age of five. And um, I had struggled all my life um, with epilepsy. And as I um, had gotten older, um, I had uh, struggled uh, in college, trying to get through college, you know, the, the, the late night study and the, um, the stresses of taking tests and everything that was going on. I was taking a lot of seizures and I was having a hard time. And I said, how am I going to get through this all if, if I can't, you know, if I can't get my seizures under control? And so I decided to write a letter to the, um, a magazine uh, sponsored by the Epilepsy uh, Foundation. And I wrote them a letter and they published my letter in their magazine. And I was asking others how they dealt with epilepsy, how they, you know, cope with a disorder, how they get through life, you know, having seizures. And um, I had, you know, surprisingly received hundreds of letters from all over the United States and Canada from people who um, had the disorder and struggled with epilepsy. And people were just, you know, sharing their stories and sharing all different tools and techniques and things they did to to get through it with epilepsy. And I found it so inspiring. And, you know, I felt like I wasn't alone. You know, all these people were out there that had the same thing I had. Uh, they were going through it. And um, so I decided um, to uh, uh, actually uh, take a lot of those letters um, uh, and start to write my own book. And what I did is I, I, um, I used a lot of their stories and I applied a lot of the things they taught me in those letters. Because when I was reading all those, those letters, they had a lot of good advice. And I ac- actually applied that advice to my life and I started writing the book. And then I put it aside because I graduated college um, and then I started out working um, in the city. And I was working for a big corporation 
production. And um, I actually uh, had a seizure and um, a producer had saw, saw me have a seizure fall and fall to the floor. And he walked over me and he kept walking. And 30 minutes later, I was actually released from my position. I, um, a assistant producer came over and told me I didn't actually um, make, uh, I, I, I wasn't fit for the position. So I decided not to let this get me down. And I decided to move on with my life. And um, so I started, I, I got myself another job. I started working and I started um, doing a lot of freelance writing and I started doing a lot of, um, a lot of work with uh, other um, companies and I had uh, written, I had worked with a herbalist and I had, do, I've done, a, I was doing a lot of research for him and a lot of writing and uh, I actually found a lot of interesting things about natural healing and, and different ways to heal the body, heal the mind and, and I applied a lot of that to my, uh, my own condition and my own life and I changed the way I lived, my lifestyle and how I, I lived each day. And um, I started to take less seizures. I started to have more energy. I started to be able to focus better. And, you know, slowly my seizures went from nine to six to five to four to three. And then, you know, I started to, I actually became controlled. And, um, you know, and, and then I decided to create a little blog and to talk about what I did to help myself. And uh, it started out on Blogger, you know, with 400 people. And then um, I had created my own website. Um, and it, it grew to 10,000. And then I started working with a, um, a web designer and he, uh, I, he, I was writing um, content, content for him. And he actually told me, uh, you know, I could really make this website nice for you. And, and he did. And, uh, and that website grew to over 500,000 people. And uh, today we have a, a huge amount of people. I started, I finished that book I was telling you about. And I got, it hit number one on the, on the charts. Um, wow. I, I taught people how to, uh, you know, how to cope with, um, you know, with epilepsy. And I, you know, I realized that, you know, I could help, you know, all these things just didn't apply to epilepsy. It helped all, for all conditions and all all different um, things out there and and diseases and, and disorders and you know I I created a website that you know to help people that were suffering from anything from from anything mental spiritual um, you know uh, things that you know different dis diseases and disorders and uh, you know I I've been going strong since then and I've done a lot of uh, writing and a lot of I've written a lot of books since then and I've helped actually a lot of people. Um, I even had people write to me. One person told me that she was on the verge of suicide from her epilepsy and she read my book and she applied what I, she learned. And she said that she felt there was a will to live. And she decided, you know, she had more to life. And, uh, you know, from when, when I read that email and I, and I realized how powerful words and, and how powerful your, you know, could be, words could be and how they can affect another person's life. And that's when I really had my, my, my uh, light, the light bulb went off and I realized, you know, this is actually, you know, this is my, my true passion, my true calling in life, not to work in the city, not to work, you know, in, in with a big corporation, but to, to help others and to use, you know, this disorder that was, that I ended up with and to use it to, you know, to, for, for good, to help others, you know, and that's how it all came about. That is amazing too. And uh, <laughs> at these hundreds and hundreds of letters about advice uh, dealing with epilepsy, what's the most common advice that you've gotten? And what was the most interesting advice that you've got? You know, uh, people have asked me lots of questions. You know, they, they, you know, they, they go through different conditions and, and they just want to, they want to learn how, how they can make their condition go away. But, you know, a lot of people have to realize too, that it's, you know, when you're trying to heal your body and you're trying to heal yourself, you have to really look at how you're treating your body, what you're putting in your body, the food you're putting in your body, you know, how much sleep you're getting, you know, and it's not just popping a pill and, and making yourself feel better or taking an herb in your tea, you know, you really have to change your whole life. You know, if you have, if you have, if you want to feel better and, and you have something, you have to really examine your life and then look at, you know, start to tweak, you know, your lifestyle and, and do things to actually help yourself. So it's not a, you know, a lot of people, you know, want to just take an herb and feel better. It, it's a process, you know, and it can be a long-term process, you know, it's, it's about taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and also what are the most, uh, common forms of epilepsy out there and what's like the most um, rare and 
And I just want to know, you said there's varying degrees of epilepsy. What's the most common out there? What's the most uh, rare form? Um, you know, a lot of people um, t have, there's, there's many different types of seizures um, out there. And a lot of people suffer from different types of epilepsy. You know, some people could be tr triggered by um, by light. Some people could be triggered, uh, you know, by stress. You know, there's lots of things that can, uh, you know, trigger epilepsy. You have focal seizures that are very common where people, you know, have a seizure. They stop and stare. And you might not even know that they're having a seizure, but they feel it. And, you know, they might just glaze and, and look out. You have grand mal seizures where someone will drop to the ground and their whole body will shake, you know, and they might they may drool, their eyes will roll back, you know, and that's actually a very common seizure. A lot of people do take grand mal seizures, and it's very scary, too. If you're not familiar with the, the disorder, you know, it could be very scary for someone to see another person have a seizure. And, um, you know, SUDEP is, is, is something that's really rare. Um, you know, um, people, you know, have seizures when they're in their in their sleep and you know their body can shut down or they ha you know um and uh they can die from the seizure um you know and uh you know that's a type of, uh, of epilepsy that's not really talked about a lot but now it's starting to come out more people have you know a lot of families have you know suffered with a member in their family or a friend that had suffered from SUDEP and then may have passed from SUDEP and a lot of organizations and a lot of people have gotten together to try to bring awareness to try to take the stigmatism of epilepsy away and to try to bring people and make people more aware of epilepsy because you hear a lot about other dis diseases and disorders, but you don't really hear about um, epilepsy. But millions of people ha in the United States alone suffer from epilepsy or have had a seizure in their, in their life. And uh, it's not really a, a common uh, disorder that's talked about frequently. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned about the numbers you mentioned about inner seizures, like nine, six, five, four, three. And um, what is the significance of those numbers and uh, describe them? Well, you have, you know, you can take, you can, um, you know, people can take uh, various amount of seizures, you know, um, you know, some people can have numerous seizures where they have, you know, the, uh, you know, I used to have, you know, s certain amount of seizures a month, you know, and then they s slowly decreased. Some people could take 60 seizures in a day. Some people could have one seizure a year. You know, it's, it's, it varies for the person. Every person is, is different. You know, it's very hard to, you know, every person has a unique uh, form of their own epilepsy and, and, and it's finding the right, it's, there's no common medication, you know, it, it depends what works for that body. So, you know, it's, it's very hard, you know, cause you have to work, uh, a doctor will have to work with, um, that person and, and find, you know, a, a customized cure in a sense, you know, where they have to find the right medication, the right dosage, the, you know, and the person, it, it may not help the, the help them a hundred percent, but, you know, sometimes you couldn't, you could do things, you know, you can't expect that the medication itself to just help you you have to go out there and try to give you you know treat your body you know with with respect and 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 create a lifestyle that's going to actually cause these seizures not to occur as frequently mm -hmm. and also too like you know are there any support groups out there like online or in the area for epilepsy and uh how can one um you know find out about it and get support you know, every um, the Epilepsy Foundation, the main foundation, was uh, stationed in Washington D.C. But every state has their own Epilepsy Foundation, and every uh, state. If you go, if you don't know where to begin, you know, look in your state, look up what the Epilepsy Foundation, look where it is, and and find the number and call them. And you know, there's the people out there in those foundations that you know have lots of resources, lots of groups and lots of um, uh, different things that you could do to, to help w with your epilepsy and a lot of places and doctors and referrals and so forth. And, you know, it, you, the best thing, I, I, I always refer the Epilepsy Foundation. Um, they're an absolute uh, phenomenal uh, organization and they've helped um, thousands and thousands of people. That is amazing, too. And uh, we'll talk about how epilepsy ties into um, natural healing with your book. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. 
Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple number 35 podcast platforms on the Mike Widener Show. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show. She's based on New Jersey, and she's uh, talked about her story about epilepsy and how she's able to um, manage it with natural healing. And you also have a book out called The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body. And tell us more about that book and how do you apply the book um, to your epileptic situation? You know, like when I had mentioned about um, working with an herbalist, I had found, you know, when I started applying natural healing to myself and I started seeing the change in my health, I started doing a lot of research um, and a lot of uh, on all different herbs and, and, and then relating them to different conditions and common conditions that people go through and different things that people could do, you know, alternative medicine, um, herbs, uh, different ways of um, healing the body. And uh, I had did... I did a couple of years of research and I, I created a 500 page book and it talks about all different types of herbs. It talks about um, alternative medicine, different things to do to help you when you, you suffer from, you know, any, anything, you know, from stress to, to, uh, to any type of uh, disease or, you know, disorder. It, it gives you different types of herbs that are known um, about to, to help those, those diseases and disorders. And it talks about the history you know, how it came about, you know, we've been using herbs for, you know, thousands and thousands of years and, uh, you know, and, you know, China and, uh, you know, and uh, India are, are very big for natural healing and uh, it's been around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it sounds like it's becoming more widely accepted as time goes on, especially in this um, day and age. And um, also you talk about stress. It's something that many of us are going through right now with this pandemic. And what are some more common herbs uh, that are used for stress? You know, um, one good thing uh, is uh, lavender. Lavender, you know, lavender is a, a love or hate uh, kind of herb. A lot of people love it, but there's a lot of people who can't stand the smell of it. But it's known to relax you. It's great. You could put it in Epsom salt. They have lavender Epsom salt. Uh, Dr. Teal makes a great uh, natural uh, Epsom salt. And you could actually take a bath and, you know, you can get the, the your pores will open up and the, uh, the lavender will soak into your pores. And when the, by the time you come out of the bathtub, you'll feel completely relaxed like you take in a tranquilizer it's you know it's a very natural way there's also a natural supplement called passion flower which is a great uh supplement but you know you can't take too much of it because it will make you tired as well um you know but a lot of people use uh you know passion flower also as a, a form of natural healing and you know some people use uh cbd now cbd has become very popular but people have to also realize that you know you have to be careful if you're taking like a uh, if you have like let's say high blood pressure or you have heart problems or you have high cholesterol and you're taking, you know, specific types of drugs to help you with your condition, you know, CBD can actually reduce the potency of some medications. So you have to be careful, you know, people don't realize, but CBD and any other supplement, you know, supplements are just as strong um, as the medications you have that are prescription. A lot of prescription medications are made with supplements. So, you know, that tells you how effective they are. So you have to be careful when you're taking different types of supplements for different reasons because, you know, you could actually, you know, um, hurt your body and, and sometimes these supplements can, you know, collide with the uh, medications you're taking and that could cause problems as well. Mm -hmm. You also talked about the CBD as well, too, but it's also important, too, I've done some research as well, too, that make sure you don't have the THC in there. And, of course, especially with um, you need something to heal as well, too, that ma many workplaces uh, actually, you know, with the whole situation with uh, marijuana and everything else, it's almost like, you know, CBD is, is discouraged. But, you know, just make sure that the THC is um, not included as well, too. 
Yeah, and you know, a lot of times it'll say, uh, you know, it'll be you'll have you'll see CBD on the market, but if you actually tested that CBD, there a lot of times th- there is like a, a small percentage, like a 003 percentage of THC in a lot of the CBD brands. So you know, it's very good to go with a CBD brand that is known for, um, you know, for their, uh, I, I guess, you know, their, you know, like the top ten type of CBD brands, you know, that are out there, um, you know, sharp. Charlotte um, makes a very good, you know, CBD, um, uh, you know, there's uh, different, different, um, you know, companies out there, but you have to, you know, I would say do your research before you buy it and see how good, you know, what the brand, you know, is and, you know, what kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, you know, uh, reputation, I guess they have, you know, for, you know, some, there was, you know, some problems with certain um, CBDs where they had the gummies and, you know, they, they you know, people thought that the, the gummy itself was a CBD, but it was only, it was actually the, uh, the sprinkles that looked like the sugar on top. That was the CBD. And, uh, you know, they, and certain CBD said that I had, they had X amount of CBD in each gummy. And when they tested it, you know, certain brands didn't have those, those, uh, amounts that they had you know said so you have to be very careful Mm -hmm. and and also with uh too much of it could also uh, harm me as well too like say like say there's like you know say too much in the gummy bear would too much cbd uh harm you as well I don't think it would it would harm you. It would make you tired, you know, and it it would make you very drowsy, you know. Um, too much CBD, you know. The only thing it really could do to you is, is really make you tired, you know. Taking too much, you know, it might make you fall asleep and and just might make you kind of you know out for the night type of thing. But you also you have to that as long as you're not taking other medications that you know um, you don't interact with that with the CBD, you know, because if it if it interacts with the CBD, that could be a problem. So if you take um if you take medication i would say ask your doctor first if you could take cbd with the medication you're taking and i think that's very good advice as well too since one of the subjects of cbd and that's been very very popular these days and what else can uh, cbd be used for um, it could be used for uh, pain. A lot of people that suffer from pain use CBD because um, there is, uh, you know, the CBD could actually um, block a receptor in the brain that tells you I'm in pain. And so a lot of people will experience a decrease in pain by using CBD. It, help, it helps a lot of people um, so they don't feel the, uh, the amount of pain that they're actually going through. Um, it's very good for relaxation. You know, instead of taking a tranquilizer, you know, a lot of people use CBD to help them relax. Um, it could be used for many things, you know. Um, a lot of people were trying to see if, if it was good for um, epilepsy. Well, as I said, you know, it can interact with many medications. And, you know, um, I would actually, you know, talk to your doctor um, before you try to do anything like that. You know, there were people on the Internet that were wanted to get off their medication and, and try it because it wasn't, you know, but um, your medications can actually, you know, most medications have to be, be weaned off by the doctor very slowly. Your body becomes codependent on them. And so, and that's what a lot of medications, a lot of medications, not just epilepsy medications, but there's a lot of medications out there, even tranquilizers and medications for depression and other, you know, similar, you know, conditions. They, medications have to be weaned off. If they're going to change your medication or you're going to try, if you want to be taken off, they have to be weaned off. They can't, you can't just stop it yourself. And, and speaking of depression, what are some of the um, natural herbs um, that you recommend for uh, depression? Well, you know, a lot of people were saying that, that um, CBD was very helpful for depression. Um, you know, the, uh, there's, uh, you know, for, for depression itself, I, I can't remember, you know, off the top of my head, which, which, um, specific supplements are, are do really well, but a lot of supplements that help you relax and help you focus are, are very good. You know, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, a lot of times I, I suggest using, you know, uh, meditation and, and yoga and trying to actually, um, create a journal, you know, trying to focus on the positive, you know, and trying to to, you know, not so much focus on the negative, you know, a lot of people tend to, you know, focus on, on the negative, you know, I have a whole, a whole thing in my, in one of my books where uh, I talk about positive thinking and it teaches you, you know, step by step on how to focus on, on the positive, you know, um, and there, there are different things out there that you can use for, for depression and uh, meditation is, and yoga is actually very good for people who suffer from depression and, you know, and just doing 
doing, you know, uh, CBD could be very good also, but some people need, you know, medication for, for depression and some people don't, you know, um, you know, some people could actually, you know, do other things that are natural that they, they don't need to be on medication. Mm-hmm. I, I also remember about maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago, St. John's Wort was the big thing as well too. And uh, you can tell us about that. And is it still recommended today? And is it still widely used? Um, St. John's wort, uh, it's still widely used, but you have to be careful because like, even like with epilepsy, it was known to cause seizures for people with epilepsy that use it for, uh, for, um, for epilepsy. Um, you know, people with epilepsy were told to, to not take it because it interacted with a lot of epilepsy medications, but it is used for depression. A lot of people do like to use it. They, they say it's very helpful. It helps them relax. It helps them, you know, it, they feel better on it. So it is still popular. Uh-huh. And also, too, I was noticing, too, that juniper berries could get rid of yellow toenails. So I like to try that one day, maybe some friends and uh, tell us about that. That looks really interesting. You know, I'm hungry for some right now. You know, we have actually I have a whole bunch of different articles on my um, on my uh, website about yellow toenails. There's different ways and, and different things that you could put on your toenails to try to help you because a lot of people, you know, suffer from yellow toenails. But, you know, yellow, you know, it's, it's also about finding the core of what, you know, the, the, the root cause of what's causing it. And they say a lot of times when you have yellow toenails, it's because your body's deficient and your body is, is going through certain things and it's not getting the nutrients and it's not getting certain things that it needs. Needs. So you have to try to find the root cause of why your toenails are, are yellow. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's good to go to uh, an herbalist and to get blood work done um, just to, you know, especially, you know, at our age, you know, because our body changes a lot, you know, in our age and to find out what you're actually deficient in and what your body needs and, and you know, and, and uh, getting going for a, a, a blood test, you know, um, a thorough blood test, you know, done by an herbalist is actually a good thing because then you can find out what vitamins you're lacking and what things you're lacking that, you know, that you might want to, you know, include in your, your daily uh, routine. That is very, very interesting. We'll talk about your other books in just a minute, but first listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com powered by Sonic web studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, also Anchor FM, Radio Public, and more, and over 35 podcast platforms on the Mike Widener Show. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show based on New Jersey. We talked about some of her book, The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body, and some of the things um, that could, that could uh, help with stress and also help with pain and more. We'll also talk about some of your other books. You've uh, written 20 of them, and one of them, which I find interesting, is How to Purify Water. You can uh, just tell us about that and how do you purify water? You know, a lot of people, um, they don't realize, but there's a lot of chemicals in the water, you know, and, and it, it varies town by town, you know, like every town is different, um, you know, and, you know, a lot of people were buying bottled water, but then, you know, they found out too that, you know, bottled water, um, you know, uh, if when the heat touch, um, hits the plastic, um, chemicals are actually derived from the plastic and go into the water. So then, you know, a lot of people were leaving water out and they were leaving it, you know, in areas where the sun was hitting it and the water sometimes would taste funky and it would be because the chemicals from the plastic were entering the uh, water. And then they were, you know, different companies um, that uh, were uh, actually their water wasn't as pure as they claimed. So, you know, and it's hard because every town, you know, is different. Like there are certain towns that where they tell you not to drink the water, you know, and then you have certain towns that have great water. So, you know, I always, I like to use the a purifier on the filter. I like to use 
use, um, you know, I, uh, different, uh, you know, uh, when I, I use the container where it goes through a purification and, um, you know, that, and then I, I, I keep the water, you know, in room temperature. I like room temperature. Some people like the cold water. And then I have a, a purifier in my refrigerator when, you know, you, you have the water and that comes out. And, you know, so I, I think, you know, using purifiers is a great way to help purify water. And I still, I still use bottled water. But, you know, like I said, do your research. There's some companies out there that, you know, I don't want to, you know, say right now. But their their water isn't as great as as uh, you know uh, people think it is. So you know if you're going to buy bottled water, keep it in an area where the where the room is dark. You maybe if you have a, a pantry, you know keep it in your pantry where the where the sun isn't hidden it, and uh, you know and just try to uh, find a, a brand that's uh, really good. Mm -hmm. And also, um, what purifiers uh, do you recommend when it comes to, say, purifying water that you have um, a purifier in the home? And what are some of the ones you recommend? Oh, uh, you know, I, I, off the top of my head, I'm thinking of it, the ones that I use it in my own home. I can't think of the name at the uh, pure. I have to get back to you on that one because I can't off the top of my head. I see it right there and I, I can't I can't think of the uh, the name. Mm -hmm. And do you recommend the ones that you uh, attach to the faucet or like in a separate container with um, with charcoals in it? I like the ones that you attach to the uh, faucet. I, I don't think you need to ha you have the other one. I think the ones that you attach to the faucet work really well. Uh -huh. And for those listening in Flint, Michigan, hey, attention. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you about that later as well, too. And you also have another book called Natural Cures for the Common Condition. You can uh, tell us about Tell us something about that, and what are some of the natural cures? You know, I took, um, I took, you know, I had written like the 500, 600 page book on on different herbs and and supplements, and I talked, and I talked about the, you know, each on each supplement, I talked about the history, I talked about, you know, what was the supplement was good for, and then I talked about the precautions of the supplements, and you know, I thought, you know, I I should simplify it and make it easier, so I took the most common conditions that people go through in life, and you know, I I I put it into a book, and then I I. Added you know, and I talked about different ways and different, different, you know, supplements and different things that are good for each of those con conditions or diseases. Uh-huh. And, and also, too, uh, like you said, with the natural cures and um, what, what is like the uh, natural cure if, if you need to go to sleep? Like, say, you know, what herbs you use and, um, you, you know, what's the natural way to um, to fall asleep, especially during these hard times? You know, I, I think I think um, uh, magnesium and potassium work really well. If you take magnesium and potassium, it actually makes you sleepy. It'll make you tired. Um, I take a couple at night right before I go to bed, and it relaxes me completely. I start to feel tired as soon as I I, I take them. Um, and you know, uh, you, I I think uh, that really helps. I think you know you could put lavender on your pillow. Some people put lavender, you know, in areas where they can um, you know smell it and breathe it because a lot of times people can't fall asleep at night um, one reason is because as we get older our melatonin decreases and we start to um, have trouble falling asleep because we don't have as much melatonin as we did when we were younger and um, you know so some people take melatonin but the problem with melatonin I found with myself and I also um, other people have said too is that they were taking it it was working great for a while and then it kind of it, 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 the the effect kind of wore off it, it stopped it stopped working it's like your body body kind of drew to the amount and it kind of, it, it wasn't as effective. So, you know, passion flower is very good for uh, sleep also. Um, you know, you could use lavender and they, have, they even have lavender capsules. You could take lavender uh, supplement capsules too. And passion flower is good. Um, but like I said, don't take too much because it makes you tired. Because the, if, you, if you take too much of something and then you feel tired the next day, then that defeats the whole purpose. You know, um, you don't want to overdo it either because you want to wake up feeling, you know, alive and refreshed. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, speaking of feeling alive and how about some of the natural remedies if you need, if you need complete energy? Um, you know, there's, there's some, there's some really good teas out there too that are, you know, um, they have green tea extract is really good. Um, you know, it's, it's great for energy as well. You know, a lot of people use it for different things too. You could, you know, some people use it, you know, to help with weight loss and other things, but it's, it's good for energy. Um, there's, uh, there's different, you know, uh, different, uh, supplements that can give you, uh, energy and, and to help you, um, you know, they have, um, uh, 
uh, uh, what was I'm trying to think off the top of my head? Uh, beat um, beats actually give a lot of energy. They have, you know, yeah, that's uh, the thing. I heard about it. Yeah, you know, they have supplements, you know, um, you know, for for the beetroot, and uh, you know, I use that actually, and I, I actually like it. I, I think it's very it's very effective. You know, it gives me a little uh, spur in the morning. You know, um, you know, it's also good to take probiotics. You know, and to cleanse yourself too, because a lot of people don't realize over the years, like you know, as as you go outside, um, you know, there's toxins outside, there's toxins in the house. There, you know, you're eating food that has you know impurities and toxins in it. You know, a lot of the chemicals they use in food, you know, um, it, it has, you know, different types of toxins that don't agree with the, our bodies and our, 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 our different organs and stuff like that. And uh, even makeup, when we wear makeup, a lot of them, you know, carry toxins in them, ingredients that aren't good. And, you know, your body over time, when your body gets all these different toxins in it, it doesn't know what to do with it, you know, so it stores it, you know, and that's what the body, if the body can't break it down, it stores it. And what happens is that your body keeps overloading with toxins and that can cause fatigue and that can cause you to feel tired and you know it can cause you to to not function you know you're you're you know at 100 percent capacity and sometimes it's good to cleanse you know like a like a spring cleaning in the house you know sometimes it's good to do a spring cleaning on your body and to cleanse your body and that could actually bring a lot of energy into your body as well that is interesting as well, too. We'll um, talk about your uh, next book and um, something that has just come up during the uh, pandemic you and I talked about before going on. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Whitener Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Whitener Show can be heard on the themikewhitenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewhitenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 35 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show based on New Jersey. We talked about some of her book, The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body. Also her um, one of uh, 20 books, How to Purify Water, Natural Cures for the Common Condition. And we talked about some of the remedies Um you know, for stress, for sleep, energy, and more. Also, another book out there, too, called Faith, Courage, Wisdom, Strength, and Hope. And that's something we all need. And tell us more. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I I went through life, and, you know, the one, the one thing that got me through all the struggles I went through in life was positive thinking, having faith, courage, wisdom, strength, and hope. And so what I decided to do is I decided to create a book of poems, which consisted of inspirational and motivational poetry to encourage people and to give people, you know, a, a, a tad of positive thinking and to give them inspiration and motivation, you know, because in life, you know, that's what gets you through life is faith, courage, wisdom, strength, and hope. Even people who don't, aren't religious, you know, when something bad happens, you know, the first thing that comes out of someone's head is, please God help me, you know, and, and they might not even even believe in God, but you know, the, it's just the phrase that comes out, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, people have to have some type of faith, some type of belief, you know, it, it just, it just helps you get through life. You know, if you don't believe in anything, if you don't have faith, it's really hard to, to, to have that, you know, that willpower, you know, and you just, you know, and having courage to be able to have the courage to get through life. You know, you have to have belief in yourself. You have to have courage and you have to just believe that you could do anything, you know, and, and, you know, and if you have a faith, if you have a higher power, you go to that higher power to give you that strength and to give you that faith, you know, and then just having the hope, having hope and, and being able to, you know, say, you know what, I, you know, I may not be where I am today, but I, I hope and, you know, I, I believe that, you know, in the future things will get better or things will, you know, come my way and this will happen and that will happen, you know, and just having wisdom, being able to know, you know, to, to be able to know, you know, the, the, the right decision to the right choice to, to, un, to, to be able to, you know, make good choices and, and realistic choices that will actually help you in your life and help you with all the things you have to go through in life. 
or or some say it could be karma as well too yeah it could be karma yeah i'm a true believer in karma i you know i believe everything happens for a reason and you know and then if whatever you give in life you get you know like if if you give you know i believe you know you're gonna get back you know if you if you're a person who likes to be a little vindictive and likes to you know do things to to harm others you know it will come back to you you know i i truly believe that myself um and of course i hear the phrase a lot karma can be a bitch Yes, it could be a bitch. That's why I say you should try to be good. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one thing. What's going on in society is, is my people are just pulling their hairs out like crazy. I know. And, of course, you know, that's a big subject. Um, you know, you talk about it's like how do you deal with such hair loss without pulling out your hair? It's like I wish I could get some back, you know. <laughs> You know, it, hair loss is so common, you know, I, I didn't realize at first, but you know, like I, when you think of hair loss, you think of men because you see a lot of men going through it and it's socially acceptable. You know, when you see a man that has losing his hair, he's still con considered attractive. He's still considered nice looking. It's just, it's just, it's just socially acceptable. Now for women, there are a lot of women, you don't realize it, but they're, they're, is, they're not too far, um, you know, below the amount of men that are suffering from hair loss. And, you know, for a woman to, to experience hair loss it's traumatic you know it's you know it's not socially acceptable and and it, it's something that you know people go through it you know you can lose your hair for a lot of reasons stress could be definitely one main reason you can lose stress you know you can lose hair from stress it could be hereditary it could be from medications you know it could be from a medical condition you have you know there are many reasons and what people don't realize that um, we have that testosterone both men and female have testosterone in our body Body. And 10% of that testosterone most of the time is converted into DHT. And the DHT is is something that kind of shrinks the the hair follicles and it, it caused it can cause hair loss it's the main it's the main reason why we have hair loss is the DHT that you have in your body and some people have more than others and you know and a lot of people struggle because you know you start seeing all this hair loss and you're like oh my god you know you know you you, you don't want it to happen what can I do to stop it you know and there's so many products out there you just you know you don't know what's gonna what's work what works what's you know what doesn't work you know, some things are really expensive. You know, they have they have laser, they have the, the hair helmets, they have, you know, things over the counter could be really expensive too. And, you know, just lately, you know, I was, I, I've been working with hair restorations, um, laboratories, and they have um, a product and it's all natural. And, and, you know, I had tried it and it, my hair, my hair started to grow and it started to thicken. And even my, my hairdresser said, oh my God, Stacy, your hair got so thick, you know, and I started giving it to my husband because he struggled with hair loss probably in his mid 20s. He started really seeing the hair loss come in and, you know, and it's been helping him. And I gave it to my son in college because now he's starting to see the little side, you know, the hair losses on the side. And, you know, it's it's great. And it, what it is, it's all natural supplements that actually help to block DHT. So it's, you know, they're scientifically proven supplements and natural components to, you know, made in this, in this product that actually blocks the DHT and it helps to promote hair, hair growth. And I, I think it's great. I've been so excited about it, you know, and the reason why I got so interested in hair loss is because I started writing some articles on it and I had tens of thousands of people come on and reading the articles because they were looking for ways and they wanted to find natural ways to actually, you know, help, you know, with their, their hair loss. They, you know, they wanted to stop the hair loss. They wanted to maybe promote some hair growth. And, you know, this product is all natural and I, I love it. I think it's great. And I've been, you know, boasting about it all the time. I hair restorations, uh, you know, their, their products are great. They have a shampoo, a conditioner, and they have some serums. Um, that you can just like m moisturize into your scalp and, you know, it, it works great. I, I love it. You know, it, it sounds great. Where can we find it? You know, they have a website, Hair Restoration uh, Laboratories. Uh, you can go right on their website. I actually have, you know, I, I have them listed on my website, you know, um, but you can go on their website and they have all their products there, um, Hair Restoration Laboratories. Um, if you go on their website, um, everything's there and they have some great articles too to teach you about hair loss and to teach you, you know, different ways to help yourself too and, and things that are good for hair loss and things that aren't good for hair loss. So it's not even just that the products they sell, but they have a really good educational uh, basis as well on the website.
That is fantastic as well, too. And once again, Stacey Chalemi, author and health expert here on the Mike Wagner Show with the book, The Complete Herbal Guide and Natural Approach to Healing the Body. Talked about her other books, all kinds of cures and even hair loss and more. Now, I'll, I'll check that out as well, too. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? My biggest influence in my career, um, I guess, you know, I, I realized when I started writing, I had written um, a couple of stories for Jack Cranfield, and um, I had um, I had a, an editor I was working with, and uh, she had she was uh, working on my um, one of my stories with me because they were going to publish it in their in one of their books, and she ripped that thing apart. And she, you know, she told me, you know what? She goes, I want you to realize that you have the potential to be higher than what you are. You could do it. And she says, you have, you know, you have the ability and the, and you have the, you, know, you have the talent to be a great writer. And it was that that had a huge impact on me, you know, just her words of inspiration. And that email I told you about when that woman wanted to commit suicide and she said that she read my book and it made it, 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 she decided that there was more to live for and that she didn't want to commit suicide. She wanted to actually move forward with her life and try to make what she, she take the condition she had and make a better life for herself. And that was a huge thing. And I'm telling you the, the feeling of helping somebody else, you know, first being able to take my word, my words actually help save a person's life. And the, the ability that I could, I could help other people. I, the greatest feeling in the world is when you help another other person. I do a lot of volunteer work and I do a lot of work, you know, in the epilepsy community. And I, I love being able to help somebody, you know, and, and, and it makes it, it's the best feeling in the world. And I no no dollar amount can actually, you know, um, do, uh, can, you know, subside with that. You know, it's just, it's just helping people is just a great feeling. And I, I love doing it. That is amazing. What you do, what are your upcoming plans for 2020? in terms of uh, new new books and everything else I haven't been really focusing too much on books right now. I've been focusing on um, public speaking. I want to do more public speaking, and I want to work with a lot of different, um, you know, different health companies um, because I really want to take my words of wisdom and and help others. And I really want to focus on doing a lot of public speaking. So I'm, I'm going to be focusing on that area, and also with my website, I'll be still working with my website and working with all the different experts that work on my website. And we're gonna, you know, keep putting new articles on daily and and helping others you know just with our education that we provide that is fantastic what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point you know, right now we're going through a very stressful time with with the uh, with COVID nineteen and and the the and the virus. We just we you know people are going through stressful conditions and it's very hard being locked in your house. You know, it, after a while people feel like they're going haywire and you know and it, and you know a lot of people feel hopeless. You know, after a while and and they start worrying about the bills and they start you know and I just take everything day by day. We've been through so much you know in life you know and and there's been so many different things. In 1918, we were struck with a, you know, a, an, an epidemic, and you know, we we got through everything. And we got through 9/11. We got through so many things. You know, we can we can go on and we can talk about all the different things that we went through in life. You know, and we we've come out of it strong, and you know, we will come out of it strong again. You know, we just have to be positive. Take everything day by day. You know, don't focus on on the negative. Just focus on the positive. You know, look at how everybody's working together to make this a better. You know. A better situation and how well you know so many states have come together helping each other and it's you know we're, we're going to get through it you know and it's just you know just be hopeful and just take it day by day and you know you just got to do what you can to help others that's fantastic once again stacy chlemy author and health expert here on the mike wagner show talking about her books and complete herbal guide natural approach to healing the body and more big thank you for your time you've been fantastic thank Wonderful. you you looking forward to having you in soon. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, and where can people purchase your books? And you can go right on my website. The Complete Herbal Guide has over 5,000 articles on it. We have um, experts every day who write um, you know, articles about all different topics, all different conditions. And we have different things. Even We, we talk about fitness and nutrition. We supply recipes. And you can just go on the, the completeherbalguide.com and you'll find everything there. And my, I have my website, stacychalemi.com. You can go there. And we have lots of different um, books that you can download 
download for free um, and different uh, different things to help you on all different um, you know topics that uh, you know that talk about you know healing the body and and making yourself you know a healthier individual so you know you can just come on our website and we have everything right there the complete herbal guy.com that is fantastic once again Stacy a big thank you for your time you've been fantastic learned thank a lot you. from you looking forward to having you again soon do us a favor keep us up to date we love you have back on sometime in 2020 and beyond you've been fantastic Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I had a great time talking to you, Mike. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.